Every time we get on the road, we're faced with trade-offs. Convenience or climate, speed or safety. Or what if we didn't have to choose? What we're gonna show you today is not an improvement on the car. It's completely different and it's what you'd build if there were no cars. It's not a product you buy, it's an experience you share. Meet the Cruise Origin. It is self-driven, it is all electric, it is shared, it is a production vehicle. I think the first thing you notice about this is it looks really big, but it's actually not any bigger than a regular car. It's just more efficient. On the Cruise Origin, the doors just do this, which is really cool. So if you look at the opening here, another thing I want to point out is this is three times more area to get in and out than on a normal car. And on the inside, I've got a ridiculous amount of space here. Basically, every seat is like an extra legroom seat on an airplane. This is an engineering prototype of one of our new sensors. We've got two of them on the origin up front there. It can see things that you won't see, and it'll react faster and more safely to the things that you can see. The origin can see pedestrians at night, even if they're not visible to the naked eye. And this is just one of our new sensor systems. Just in the last year alone, we accumulated almost a million miles of autonomous driving in San Francisco. And that's a lot of mileage. But what's more important to us is the data that's contained within those miles. If you were to stretch San Francisco across the entire continental US from coast to coast, our AVs would go from one coast to the other without even a fender bender. We have an awesome experience riding in the origin as well as superhuman levels of safety. And those are two big parts of the equation. But we have been just as obsessed with making the origin experience as inexpensive as possible. Most cars sit parked 95% of the time, racking up expensive parking fees while depreciating in value. The Cruise Origin will spend most of its life in motion. But the Cruise Origin will have a lifespan of well over 1 million miles. And that's at least six times more than today's average car. No doubt what we've laid out here is ambitious, but we're moving as fast as possible to make this happen. And while what you've seen here tonight has been focused mostly on helping people move through cities, this is just the beginning of the origin story.